Hi guys, today we will be doing a video that is pretty highly requested. Um, I'll be telling you my best tips that I have to grow your Instagram audience. Back in 2017, I posted a video about how to get followers and got around 2 million views, I think. Now, I can confidently say not everything in 2017 will work in 2020. That's why I'm doing this video. I will repeat some of the information because not everything has changed, but a lot has. So there will be some new information as well. Now, there's a lot that happened in the past three years, not only with Instagram as a social media platform, but with my personal accounts as well. At its peak, I used to manage an account that had around 90,000 followers on it. If you're curious on why I left that account and everything, I made a whole video on that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we don't need to get into that. Currently, I have two accounts. My personal account where I post mental health, lifestyle, art kind of things, and then another account that's just for gaming and gaming photos. I have recently made the gaming account and I made it from scratch, meaning I didn't really tell anyone to follow it. I didn't announce it on my social media. I didn't um, get people to follow me from my other account. So I'm growing it from scratch and I implemented these strategies that I'm gonna be talking about in this video and they're pretty successful. So let's get into it. Tip number one, find a purpose for your account. Are you trying to be a model, an influencer, a photographer? Are you trying to sell your art? Are you trying to post gaming clips? What are you trying to do? Find out what your account is, define it. You can't be everything. And that's something I learned through experience. I think I tried to be like mental health and lifestyle and art and gaming and everything that in, like describes me, but that doesn't really work for social media because people like to follow their interests. It's rare that you're gonna find someone that has all of the same interests as you, so pick one. However, you can pick like two things that pair well together, like gaming and art, if the art is geeky and gaming related. Lifestyle and mental health is also another one. The point is figure out what you're gonna be posting about and stick to it. Tip number two is to check the basics. This is your profile picture and your bio. What are people first seeing when they visit your page? Is your profile picture good quality? Is it clear what it actually is? Does it uh, showcase what you post about on your account? Make sure if someone was to quickly glance at your profile picture and your username, uh, that they would know what your account is about or at least they could guess. For your bio, make it short, sweet, and organized. It's one of the first things people see when they actually see your account. Describe your account in whatever way you want, add what, whatever information that you want to. However, try to keep it under four lines. If you go over four lines, then Instagram requires you to hit that more button when they see your bio. And also if your bio is messy and unorganized, they might assume that's how you run your account. I have some examples here. I created both of these, they're not real, but it's based on real things that I've seen. Which one do you think is more appealing to the viewer? So this leads us to tip number three. Tip number three, find an aesthetic. This isn't 100% necessary if you really are lost and you don't know how to do this and it frustrates you or you don't like it or something like that, but it can help. There's apps that can help you, photo planner apps so you can preview your feed before you see it. Um, there's probably other videos out there that can describe finding your aesthetic and editing your photos in a pleasing way. If you want me to share with you how I plan out my entire feed um, and how I create my photos and everything, you can totally request that in the comments. If I get enough people, I'll definitely spend time working on that. Here are some interesting feeds that I found on Instagram just as examples. As you can see, there's no real limit on what kind of feed you can have or the aesthetic either. You can be super strict about it. You can just have it be a light touch to your photos, whatever you want. This is supposed to represent you. Tip number four is to take good photos. Now I'm not gonna deep dive into the topic of photography here. That's a huge topic, um, but I will give you a quick little rundown on how to just 
do better. <laughs> Lighting is huge and it plays a huge difference. You can take really bad photos on really nice cameras if you don't have good lighting. Now, most phones have really decent cameras in them nowadays, so you probably don't need to go buy a camera. However, if you have access to one, why not use it? So I mentioned lighting. Lighting in front of you is very important, or the subject, it's very important. If you're low budget, a window <laughs> or natural lighting outside. As a general rule, try not to have light behind you. I know I'm saying this with a bunch of light behind me, but that's because I have a camera that's able to handle it and good lighting in front of me as well. But you might not be able to do that. It might be a little more tricky if you're brand new to photography or just taking pictures off your phone. It's a good general rule to have. And if you want to start having light behind you, you can start playing with it. You can just look into that more. Again, this is just a brief, 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 brief touch on the topic. Um, if you wanna learn more about photography, there are so many videos out there that you can watch on YouTube for free. Tip number five, use hashtags. This might seem obvious, but there are certain ways to use hashtags that are appropriate and certain ways that are not. Use hashtags that are only related to your posts and your account and try to use at max 15 and we'll go into this later. Also, you can look through the hashtags before you use it. Figure out how many posts does that hashtag have attached to it. The more posts a hashtag has attached to it, the less likely that your account is going to be seen or your photo is gonna be seen in the mix of all of everyone using that hashtag, especially if you're a smaller account. Try to pick hashtags that have around 100,000 to 500,000 posts attached to that hashtag. Uh, that means that there's not a ton of people posting to it. However, there's still enough uh, traffic on it that people might see your account better. Now tread lightly here, because there's a lot unknown about how Instagram uses hashtags and how they use them to shadow ban you. Shadow banning is when Instagram, without telling the user, uh, blocks an account from using hashtags. Uh, this is horrible and it can kill your growth rate and your post interactions. Shadow banning can occur when you use too many hashtags, when you use inappropriate hashtags, when you use hashtags that are uh, not related to the content that you're posting, or if you use the same hashtags too frequently. We basically, anything that would give them the idea that you are spamming or are a spam account, they will use against you to block your, uh, your spreadability, basically. You can look up more on the subject, but you don't want it. You don't want this to happen to you. And there's ways to protect yourself by changing up the hashtags you use on every post, by you know not doing too many, only sticking to the hashtags that relate to you, that kind of stuff. Tip number six is interact with similar accounts. Go into some of the hashtags that you use, sort by recent and find smaller accounts that are posting about the same stuff you are. Go through their account, like their photos, comment on their photos, follow them. This is how you create a community. Ideally, they would look at your account back and they'd follow you back and you guys could be friends. <laughs> you can't expect people to just find you. That just doesn't happen. Uh, you have to start out, assuming you're starting from zero somewhere. Interact with people, create a community, create friendships, create mutuals. This is how you create supporters. My tip number seven is to post consistently. This really depends on the kind of account that you are running. An art account might only be able to post twice a week, but a meme account might need to post multiple times a day. So your posting schedule really will vary based on your topic. However, try to make a schedule. That's, that's the baseline, make a schedule and you need to stick to that schedule. You need to get into a rhythm, a pattern that your followers can expect from you. It would be helpful to have photos stored up so in case something happened, if you're busy or if you got lazy or sick, you could still post something. My tip number eight, and I cannot believe I even have to say this, but don't buy fake followers. Do not do it. It will ruin your account. Absolutely. I know already that there's gonna be bots in the comments of this video. I mean, maybe not, maybe we'll get lucky. But in my last video, my there was like 6,000 comments total, I think, in the video, and half of them were bot accounts telling you to buy fake followers. Do not listen to them. It's either a scam or it will ruin your account. It's extremely against Instagram's rules and guidelines, and they will shadow ban you or just ban you from your account. Don't be tempted by it. It is not worth it. Tip number nine is to be yourself and love what you do. If you choose a topic, for your account that you're not into, people will notice. 
If you aren't being yourself, people will notice. People like authenticity. They're drawn to it. Represent yourself online similar to how you do offline. And just a quick note, none of this is written in stone. Platforms are constantly updating and changing and really you just have to use your best judgment moving forward. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to see more in the future. I know I don't post much anymore, but I'm trying. I have so much going on between the podcast, which I haven't updated in a while either, <laughs> and homework and school with this whole pandemic thing. If you want to drop video recommendations in the comments also, that'd be so appreciative because I don't know what people want to see really. I know I've gone all over the place with my account, with social media advice, to bullet journaling, to lifestyle, all of this crazy stuff. So let me know what you want to see. All right, guys, I love you to the end of Space and Back. Bye.